it's finally here the oculus link beta update has just been released today so in this video i'm going to share how to get this update i'm going to share some of my first cable recommendations but i'm also going to let you know some of my first impressions of the gameplay at home but first subscribe if you haven't yet to stay up to date with vr with us and now join me beyond reality so how do you get the updates? It's pretty simple actually, since the update is free, you just have to make sure that you're on the right version of the Oculus Home app. You can check that by going to the settings right here, then go to the tab beta, and then make sure you are opt in to the public test channel by toggling this on. And after you've done that, you can restart Oculus here. And then to make sure that you have the right version, you can go to general here, scroll down, and down here you can see your Oculus app version. If you are on the same version as I am right now, 1.43, then you should be able to use Oculus Link. If you are watching this video later, then you probably have a different version, but anything higher than this should be good to go. So to get the update on the Oculus Quest, you have to make sure that you go to settings, see all, then about over here, and make sure you have the same version as I have. When I started my quest after the update's release, it was automatically updated for me. But if for some reason you still don't have this version, you can just manually update by clicking this button here. It will be blue for you. For me, it's gray because I already updated. So once you've done that, you can go to device in the settings here and then scroll down. You'll see enable Oculus Link beta. And then you know that you got it. And then you can just plug in a compatible USB 3 cable like the one I have here inside the Quest. You can wait a little bit, you will get a pop-up message displaying enable Oculus Link Beta and you have two options, not now or enable. Just click enable and you'll be directly spawned into the Oculus Rift Home app, as you can see here, which is the PC VR version of the Oculus Home app. I'm not sure if you can see it in this recording, but you can probably hear the sound that is the Oculus Home loading in front of me right now. So it is pretty seamless. It is so nice to be able to just use one button, plug in a cable, and you're directly into the PC VR version of the Oculus Home. You can also disable Oculus Link Beta if you just want to use your Quest. Just go to settings right here and then headset. And over here it says disable Oculus Link Beta. Just click disable and you'll back into your Quest app. If for some reason you do not see the software update, then make sure your Oculus Quest has an active internet connection, just in case you can also place it next to your router and then you can restart your device there and then the software should show up. So I know a lot of you are curious about what cable you should buy to use with the Oculus Link. So I wanted to start with that before I jump into my first impressions of gameplay at home. But first things first, please be aware that this Oculus Link version is a beta. So it is not strange, there are still some bugs and things that need to be solved. Like for example, currently not all graphics cards are supported. Check out this compatibility list by Oculus before you buy any cables. So I am using the RTX 2080 Ti graphics card, which is on this compatibility list. Here are also my other computer specs. I will put everything in the description below too, so don't worry if it was too fast. So whether a cable works seems to be system dependent right now. Let me explain to you why I think so, by showing you the setup that I have right here. So this is a cable creation USB 3 active extender cable. I will link this below too because it's hard to memorize all these specs. And it's a very long cable, three meters, so about 16 feet. And then I have this Amazon Basics double braided nylon USB-C to USB-A cable. 3.1, I think, yes, 3.1. This plugged into my active extender and then the other end to my Oculus Quest. So, so far it seems good, but I, I do have to test it a little bit more with a little bit more time to see if the video quality is any different with a different kind of cable. But right now this is the only setup that works for me. And for some weird reason, when I only use this cable, I do get the video, but I do not get sound from the headset. I get sound from my PC, but no so gameplay sound from my headset, which is weird. But with the ex active extender, 
it does work for some reason. And it seems like a hidden miss with this cable for other people. So as you can see in this uh, Reddit post, some people have sound with just this cable and some people don't. This is why I think my cable is very dependent on whatever motherboard or graphics card you are using. As well as whether you have enough USB bandwidth on your motherboard. If you run into the problem where the USB cable keeps disconnecting, then you might not have enough USB bandwidth and you might need to look into a PCI Express card. I'll link the ones I'm using in the description. Unfortunately, this cable setup does not charge while I am playing either, so because of this, and because this cable might not work for everyone, I cannot recommend this cable at the moment. I did want to share that it works on my system, so if you run the same kind of system, you can probably get it to work too. What I do recommend is checking out the cable that Oculus posted on their website. I'll link that below too. I did not test that one myself, but Oculus recommends it as a cable that works well and it is not expensive. But I do think if you want the best, best Oculus Link experience, I recommend waiting for the Oculus's official cable or for a couple more updates before you buy any expensive cables to try. But if you really don't want to wait, you can get my setup to try as well. Or you can wait for one of our next videos, I will test more cables, compare video quality and also test it on my laptop that has different specifications. I will then give you some more recommendations. While you are watching this video, please leave a like to show your support. So alright, let's move on to my first impressions of the gameplay of Oculus Link at home. I already started Beat Saber. Okay, this sounds a little bit loud, so let me go to headset. Okay, I guess I need to disable Oculus Link Beta here first. And set the volume here first. A little bit softer. And then enable Oculus Link Beta. And now the sound is not too loud anymore, alright. And Beat Saber is still on. Oof, this cable is a little in the way. I'm going to re recommend a clip for you guys on, in the description too, so that you can uh, strap it on the strap of the Quest here too, so that it doesn't get in the way. But let's try Beat Saber first to check out the tracking. So I'm also using the Oculus Quest's native recording. I'm hoping to be able to show you more of what it's like in the Oculus Quest while playing Rift exclusive games, or just Rift games, like this. I hope it works because I'm not sure if it will show up in the recording actually. This looks so nice, but it's definitely not as good as the Rift S. I can tell some video compression here. It could be because I'm using a 6 meter long cable and that is why it might be compressing a little bit. Like everything looks just a little bit more grainy than I am used to on the Rift S. I guess it kind of looks like the Oculus Rift CV1, the consumer version. But I will need to compare it a little bit more first and spend some more time there to know uh, what the difference is for real. So do stay tuned for that video. But man, this tracking is incredible. It works super smooth. I do not notice any latency at all. I love it. <laughs> Ooh. S rank. So you can tell that the tracking has to be good for that to work out, right? So, all right, let's try out a different game right now. An Oculus exclusive game. Why not? Let's try out. Asgard's Wrath. Whew. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> After one song. So in this game, everything feels right to the tracking works great. I cannot tell that there are any latency. I do see a little black border at the sides when I move super fast with my head, but it's not constant as you can see in the video. I still see some video compression artifacts, like everything looks a bit more grainy than I was used to with the Oculus Rift S. So the quality is definitely a bit worse here. It's interesting because I've tried this game with the official Oculus Link cable at OC6 and it did not seem this bad. This makes me think that this must be the cable I'm using. 
it's a pretty cheap cable and by extending it to a distance of 6 meters, the quality must have degraded a little bit more. So I think the experience with the official link cable or any cable that are higher quality would look a lot better. So next, I had to test a frequently asked question by all of you. Does Oculus Link work with Steam VR? And as you can see here, I am in the Steam VR library right now using Oculus Link. So yes, it works. I'm launching No Man's Sky VR now to see if that works. And as you can see, it works and plays just like Oculus Rift games. Oculus Link is better for me than any wireless streaming software like RiftCat, ALVR or Virtual Desktop. But that's also because my 5 GHz wireless connection isn't as strong in my office and it takes a lot of effort to get a decent quality with streaming Steam VR content on the Quest. So the Oculus Link is a welcome accessory for me and I can't wait to explore it more and to see it improve over time. If you want a bit more info about the Oculus Link, then check out my previous video that I made by clicking here or by clicking on the link in the description because that video gives you a bit more info about what you can expect so that you can make an informed decision on whether you should get a quest with the Oculus Link or something else. It, the video is also still pretty on par with my thoughts on the link even after trying it at home. I also linked a couple of cables down below that do not work so that you are aware that if you are looking for different cables that you should not buy those. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the Oculus Link and if you have any cable recommendations that I should test out. I'm especially looking for cables that are 3 meters or longer because those are harder to get. And if you post them below, everyone can get some tips. So thank you for that in advance. And a special thanks goes to our right hand page ones. Shout out to Art Armin and his Patreon page. Another shout out goes to Backstorm VR and his VR YouTube channel. Everyone, see you all in the next video. And as always, VR on. With what I'm thinking of the Oculus Crew link, because uh, I want you to be aware that they do not work because I just.